Oh my goodness, that's amazing. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I honestly don't have a ton to share with you this week, but I have some good things. And this eye look, y'all, is just kind of one of my go-to sort of eye looks that I just always feel myself in, um, confident in. I feel like it's just pretty, but not over the top. Um, and it's just a flattering sort of a look. So not specifically these products I use every time, but this sort of a look. And I do really love the products that I used this week to create this sort of look. So got that. Love this lip color. Love this blush. Yeah, got some good things. Kind of revisited some goodies in my collection. So let's get to the favorites. So not to sound like a broken record, but I did wear my Tarte Tartlet. Uh, what is this called? Tarte Tartlet uh, Juicy? Yeah, Tartlet Juicy Palette again. I'm just always gonna share what I've been using. So I'm still using this, still loving it. This is one of my favorite palette purchases in a long time. I'm just obsessed with this palette. I mean, I keep going back to it. I love this cream color for setting my eyeshadow primer. Um, and then I mainly wore this one right here the most, for sure that one. And then I have a little bit of this in my outer corner. So just kind of softer. Um, didn't really bring in a lot of the darker colors so much. I was just kind of more, wanting more just soft, pretty, um, not over the top makeup. So really just kind of going for the, for those crease kind of colors. This one on me is, I mean, it is a deepening sort of a color, but it's not as dark as some options in the palette. So there it is. Tarte has become one of my very favorite eyeshadow formulas. I don't know what it is about it, but just recently, you know, I don't even know how long it's been, maybe a year, year and a half or something. I just keep grabbing for their shadows more and more and just really enjoying them. I love how pigmented they are. I love how they blend. I love how vibrant they look on the eyes, how well they wear. Um, I love the scent of them. They have that nice kind of subtle vanilla scent to them. So. I just love everything about the experience of using their shadows. And I do feel like they are really pretty on the eyes, um, but they're not over the top and super made up looking. Um, just really, I don't know, kind of fresh and beautiful. So I've loved their shadows recently. So I'm still grabbing for this palette this week. Also broke this palette out of my collection. Love this palette. This is the Tarte Leave Your Mark palette cute packaging to it. That's really sweet. And this is such a pretty palette. So I'll try to find any other places, but that this is offered, but I know that QVC still has it in a really great value set. That's how I got it. Um, and it's just a really good value. So we get a bunch of different things in the set. So, but if I can find it other places, I'll list it down below for you and link it. But this is such a pretty, I don't know how to describe it. Just good everyday sort of a palette. So I mainly wore this shadow and this one together on my lids. Literally just kind of went into both of them and mixed them. I did also wear this one one day with this mixed, but I mostly just wore those two. So yeah, I'd say that's like the main standouts of what I was loving from this palette. Look how pretty those are. So these two, this is kind of like a light, um, rose gold bronzy sort of a color. The one in the middle that I'm swatching for you is more of a, I would describe that as a, a warm bronze. It's to me, it's more bronze than it is copper. Um, but it's got a little bit of that warmth to it. And then this one is more of a, an orangey rose gold, but look how vibrant those are. And that's dry. That's not using a setting spray. I did wear it with a setting spray. Um, did I do that today? I don't think I did with these shadows. So, but I have something else on my eyes that I'm about to mention. But look how vibrant those are. I mean, this one, gorgeous. I mean, you can just put that all over your lid, a little bit of your bronzer in your crease and you're out the door. That's one of my favorite go-to easy and also not over the top sort of eye looks. It's just a really pretty bronzy shade. And then um, bronzer in the crease and done. So pretty. So I absolutely, love this palette. It's not a huge palette either, which I really like. So, I mean, it's, you know, 
travel friendly and you can throw it in your purse or your gym bag or whatever. If you put eyeshadow on after the gym, I don't even know, but that's an option. So I love this palette, it's so good. Okay, let's chat about my blush and then I'll go back to this part of my eye look, kind of the light, bright part of my eye look and then also my highlighter, because it's the same thing. So blush favorite is the CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Peach Gilt. I think it's G-I-L-T. Um, it just says G-L-T on the packaging. I'll list it and link it down below for you. But I love these little Cheekers blushes. They are so stinking good and like three to five dollars ish. So crazy affordable. And I mean, look at this on my cheeks. It is pigmented. I think it's flattering. Um, it's easy to blend. It's not difficult to work with and blend. So I think it just looks really pretty on the skin. It wears well. I mean, y'all, these are some good little blushes. I was trying to think of the color that didn't work very well for me. And I want to say it's like twinkle or something. I think there's one with the word twinkle in it. These never swatch impressively. I don't know what it is about these in a swatch, but something just kind of don't work in a swatch on them. <laughs> but they are beautiful on the face. One of my very favorite blushes, especially if you're looking for a great affordable blush. These are awesome. So this is a pretty kind of a bright, um, to me it looks very pink. I can see a peachiness to it, but it's definitely to me looks like kind of a bright pinky, like a warm pink. So there it is. Um, has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I think that's really pretty on the cheeks. I do have a highlighter on today, but I mean down here you can even still see some glow. So it definitely still has some glow on your cheeks. I put a on a lot today so that you could really see it and the lights wash it out. So I've got a lot of blush on so you can really see the color, but I just really, really love it. This is such a cute color, especially for um, spring and summertime, but really any time of the year. It's beautiful. Okay, so the inner part of my lid, bright color, and then inner corners of my eyes, and then also my cheek highlight is this product. And I love this. I just randomly pulled this out of my collection, put it on my eyes, and I was like, oh my goodness, I love this so much. I don't feel like it's particularly crazy unique, but I just think it's so beautiful. It's really just kind of the perfect highlighter color. I love it. This is the IBY Beauty Radiant Glow Highlighter. And I think I got this in an Ipsy bag um, or purchased it as one of the little extras. I love those where you can get, you know, I love tiny little makeup where you can try out different products and they're super affordable and I just love them. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. <laughs> To me, it looks like, um, how would I describe this? A light, super pigmented and rich, um, kind of a warm champagne maybe. Like I see some kind of peachy tones in it, but overall I would call this a champagne. What is my finger doing? I'm just holding my finger like that. I don't even know. But just a, a pretty, really metallic champagne sort of a color. Oh my gosh. I mean, I just look at this and I'm like, that's amazing. And to me, that looks like an eyeshadow. So it works great as an eyeshadow. It's so pretty. Highlighter, it is beautiful too. I just have to be really light handed with it because you can see how pigmented it is full on. So I mean, if you want that super wabam metallic highlighter, you can go full on and apply a lot of it. But for me, I kind of tried to apply it lightly and just sort of diffuse the color. But on the eyes, I liked it full on. So I just used a pencil brush and put it on the inner part of my lid and then also the inner corners of my eyes. And I just feel like for me, this is one of the most flattering eye looks where it's not super dark. It's still defined in the outer corner, but then it has a really bright light inner part. So it just kind of opens up the eyes. Um, you know, my eyes are a little bit more hooded and just lower down so this kind of helps open up my eyes so i just really like that and then tons of mascara so i just love this so much this is beautiful and the formula is just so rich on it so pigmented good 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 and then lip favorite is another maybelline lipstick y'all know i just love maybelline lip products i love maybelline lip products and also their concealers i just feel like they do those 
so, so well. And they're some of my favorites and go-tos, drugstore or high-end. I just really like them. So, another lip favorite from Maybelline. This is the Superstay Ink Crayon in Talk the Talk. And obviously I have this on right now. I feel like this is a pretty unique color. It is a neutral, nudie sort of shade, but it's more kind of um, a little bit more cool toned. So it's leaning just more on the kind of taupey, rosy side or something, but I really like this. And I feel like if you pair this, I didn't this week, but I feel like if you pair this with kind of an edgier, grungier sort of an eye look, that'd be a really cool makeup combo. Um, but I mean, I think it looks really beautiful with this sort of makeup look too. So it's neutral, but something about it being a little bit cool toned, I feel like it looks, you know, just a little bit, a little bit funky and different. So good. Um, several of you guys have commented and I've written you back, but just, you know, to mention it in a video, what do I think about differences between the ink crayons and the newer Ulta mattes? Um, I was trying to think, I would say these seem a little bit more like a slightly thicker formula, almost like a gel feeling lip liner. Um, and then if you apply several layers to it, this can feel a little bit heavier, which I'm sure the Ultimats could get to that point too. I still love these. Really, really love these. These are definitely one of my favorite lip products. Um, and then the Ultimats are more, I would describe them as more of a silky formula and more of just a truer lipstick formula. So this is almost like a lipstick mixed with a lip liner. Um, you know, you can get really good defined lines with it. Um, but then the other one I would say is more kind of silky lipstick side of a lip product, if that makes sense. So hopefully that's a little bit helpful. They, these have a stronger scent to them. So that's another difference I noticed. I don't prefer the scent of these as much, but if you hate the scent of traditional Maybelline lipsticks, you would probably prefer this because it's more of that sweet scent. The Ulta Mattes is more of the true Maybelline lipstick scent, which is kind of like Play-Doh or something. Those smell like that. So anywho, those are some thoughts. Okay guys, so those are all my favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you've been loving, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.